in this tutorial, I'm going to further expand on my previous two videos regarding a halftone uh, bitmap effect um, to uh, further expand your knowledge and what you can do with this technique or this, uh, yeah. Um, in this one, in this video, uh, we're going to use an actual image to for uh, to create a bitmap effect uh, instead of a standard gradient. So you can see how the same technique works with uh, a more complex image and what you can do to get desired results. Uh, so. Uh, for the purposes of this video, just you can do just a general Google search for any person or thing that you want to uh, create in a halftone pattern effect. I just grabbed this picture of Marilyn Monroe from the internet. Uh, it's a good image to start with just because it already has a lot of contrast to the image itself which is going to be important for the effect we're going for um, one thing to note before starting is everything in the image will be converted to a halftone patterns so all this black background will be part of the halftone pattern so if you don't want that uh, included, you may have to do some initial uh, photo editing uh, to remove the background just so that uh, it'll be easier or you'll get the only the part of the image that you want to be uh, in a halftone effect. Um, I'm not going to take the time now to do so just because it's it would take a, quite a bit of time, so I'm just going to skip that part. But just be aware of that in kind of prepping your image uh, for this uh, process. Uh, so once you have your your image that you want, uh, just copy it into a new document in Corel. And I'm just going to copy it just so that we have the original image to look at and compare with what we're going to do so right now it's an RGB image so first thing we want to do is convert it uh, either by hitting K on the keyboard or going up to bitmaps and convert to bitmap and we want to convert the color mode to grayscale which will desaturate the image so you can see the difference here uh, between the two. Um, now we can go right into the halftone effect which I'm going to do without doing any more uh, image editing. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that by going up to bitmap, color transform, and halftone and we'll just adjust the size of our dots our halftone pattern um, I think I'll leave it at 5 and what you can see is that because there was not much contrast in the image we're getting a pretty like uh, accurate uh, translation of the image with our halftone pattern. It, you know, if this is the look you you want with a lot of the halftone pattern, great, you're done. You can move on. Um, but for this effect, it, it tends to have a more striking um, appearance if we bump up our contrast so I'm going to duplicate the image again and this time we will again convert it to bitmap again with the grayscale color mode 
Um, just click OK. And this time we want to go up to Effect and we're going to adjust the brightness, contrast, and intensity or Control B on your keyboard. And we are going to play with our mainly our contrast and intensity settings. We probably won't need to adjust the brightness. So we just want to bump these settings up to really kind of blow out the the image. We want kind of large areas of high like white and black um, with a little bit of kind of gray in between. So the the intensity will affect kind of the sharpness of the the gradient. So just go ahead and play with around with that. Want to um, Let's see, I'm gonna lower that. Uh, yeah. So I think this looks good. These settings are gonna be entirely dependent on the image you are using. Uh, so once you have kind of this kind of blown out level, um, go ahead and click OK. And so you can see the, the difference between the two images and kind of what we're we're looking for to st as our starting point for this image. So once that's done, I'm zoom in a bit, and we'll go back up to bitmap, color transform, and halftone. And so, with the same settings as the previous image, this is the if, if level of the halftone pattern. So if you want to adjust down a bit. You know, you can, depending on the size of the dots, will affect the kind of impressionistic level of the the resulting halftone pattern. So, you know, depending on how, how small you go, the clearer the image actually is. So, I think we're going to go with 4 for our radius. Uh, once you have that, Go ahead and click OK. So now we can compare the two images and kind of what we what we want. Um, so this is kind of the I guess closer to like the standard type of halftone uh, effect image. Um, and so now like, if we Right now, the like I said, the the background uh, black parts here are part of the image itself. Um, so if you didn't want that, that's where the image processing and editing beforehand would come into play, and then you'd probably get a instead of a negative effect to the hair, you would get uh, kind of a half tone outline around the edges um, so again just something to be aware of um, and then right now it's still a uh, grayscale bitmap image so we just do just throw this in so so right now uh, again if you wanted black dots you're fine but if you wanted to be able to change the color of the dots, again, if you select your uh, halftone image and go back to convert to bitmap again, and if you switch the color mode to black and white, and then click OK. Now, again, uh, anything white we want as our transparency so if you right click on the X or excuse me left click on the X and right click on a color this will change the the color of the black dots so you can get different effects that you might be looking for um, but yeah so those are 
kind of the the basics of uh, playing around with a, an actual image and most of the work to get this effect is done with the image editing before the whole halftone effect process so the work put into that or that step is where you will get the results that you ultimately want um, so yeah you can use this effect on pretty much any image that you want um, and yeah uh, hope you enjoyed hope it was helpful if you enjoyed the video found it informative please like share and subscribe and check in next week for the next video thanks for watching